Hi guys, uh, so we're just going to do a quick video of how to shuck an oyster. So first thing with oysters is you have got top shell, bottom shell is usually in a dip, and you've got a little point here at the joint, and that is where we're going to be doing all the effort. The way, most important thing with oysters is, you are going to hurt yourself if you're not careful with them. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to wrap up my, uh, wrap up my holding hand in a towel, so if there are any slips, I am not stabbing myself. Even though I've got a cradle, you need to be extra careful with it. So you slide, that's a bad one. So we're going to go in at the point here. And now I've got a wee silicone cradle here to help hold it in place. But if you don't have that, what we can do is we can just pop this on the bottom of the towel, fold over, and put some pressure down on the edge of the shell here. And we'll wiggle in with an oyster knife. Now you can do this with a flathead screwdriver if you want. Um, but you're just going to have to be very, very careful. If you've got an oyster knife, even better. You're going to wiggle in at the point here and you'll feel a good amount of grip and then what you want to do is you want to pop, twist it and pop it open like that. Now an oyster has two points where it keeps the shell attached to itself. So what you want to do is you want to slide along underneath and detach that top one. And that's the point there where it would join, a little muscle. A little bit of shell at the edge, always clear that out. And the oyster itself, when you're shocking it, this is the point where you want to uh, release that little tendon from the inside of the shell there. So you scrape that away, and then turn over your oyster. And then that's you guys.